Hey everyone, the Swing Trading Club here. We are coming off a red hot jobs report that actually sent the markets down. We'll get into the reason why. We'll also take a look at where we are with the current market cycle, potential bear and bullish indicators, and some of our recent winners, as well as some weekly picks at the end of the episode. So stay tuned. So now we're currently looking at the NASDAQ. As you can see, it's been jumping off these June lows and has a pretty good rally. Um, zooming in here a little bit, we're really seeing a strong you know, upward channel formation. We're seeing our momentum indicators, in this case, the 50-day moving average start to turn, uh, which is always a good sign. Now, to keep this into perspective, I do want to always slide back to some of our historical uh, bear markets. We'll first make our stop at the 2000, 2008. Um, and if we see, I don't know why my chart's doing this. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. It was giving me some issues with the daily data. But looking at our monthly, um, excuse me, our weekly, we are seeing quite a lot of bear market rallies, right? Um, they can call this kind of a dead cap bounce and then you have more downside to come. There's actually a pretty good chart of this. I'm going to see if I can find it and post it either in the show notes or at the end of the video. But um, just to put this kind of drawdown in some historical context, these bear market rallies are very normal. Um, now, with that being said, you know, we could be, um, you know, in different market conditions, obviously, than we were in 2000. And it's going to really depend on where the Fed positions us over the next couple months. They said in their last meeting they're going to be very short-term data dependent, meaning you know they're not going to make these long, drawn-out um, predictions and really kind of play it by the data. Now, with that said, we just had a extremely solid jobs report um, come out on, I think it was either Thursday or Friday, and we beat expectations, I think, by like 250,000. It was calling for 20 uh, I think 225,000 and we ended up getting like 500 something. So strong jobs win. Now the market actually sold off. And if we're in a uh, you know, bull market, that's going to propel markets even further. But what ends up happening in a bear market like we're currently in, um, you know, you're going to see stocks sell off just because now what that's saying is, okay, the Fed is going to potentially tighten even more just because inflation is a real problem, which is, you know, kind of why this bear market started in the first place. Um, there's a lot of other compounding factors. Of course, that's the main one, um, at least from a head point or a headline perspective. Um, so anyways, looking at the daily, again, you did see that kind of sell off to close the week, um, but, you know, really strong. So we'll see kind of what happens over the next couple weeks, um, futures aren't quite out yet, but um, in the next couple hours, I'm sure they'll be released, um, and kind of we'll see where see where we open, especially in the um, the you know Chinese markets and stuff like that. So um, stay tuned on that front, and let's hop into some of our weekly picks. So we've had a lot of recent winners lately, and you know that's just kind of a factor of the market. Um, you know we've had pretty good headwinds. Or, excuse me, pretty good tailwinds. Uh, as I was saying previously, the market seemed to have bottomed out in June. Um, at least that is our local bottom, as they say. Uh, has a nice level of support and have started to see a real turnaround in a lot of our plays. So uh, we started with MRNA. This was a pick from last week's watch list, actually. So if you played that, um, you're currently up, I think, probably 15, 16%, kind of depending on where you got in. Now, what we were seeing in this one is specifically a crossover in all these moving averages. So we're seeing our 50 day, that's here in blue, cross over our longer term, um, which is always a good sign. It's called a golden cross. And it essentially indicates that, hey, momentum indicators are shifting. Um, and that's what we were kind of seeing last week on some of our charts. And so uh, we took advantage, got a nice little uptick. Um, and you know, I think this was a good win. We also had a, quite a few others, but um, you know, trying to keep this video pretty short. And if you guys would like me to go longer into anything, just let me know in the comments or email, obviously. Um, if you're a premium member, just shoot it in the Discord and we can uh, continue to talk through some of these plays.
Our first free pick of the week is NTRA. Um, this is almost a mirror of mRNA, which is, you know, we have kind of established level of support in May, June, and now we're starting to see a crossover in some of our moving averages. Um, we're seeing a little bit of a um, resistance to close the week if we kind of move over on this uh, 30 minute chart. Let's switch it over to five. Um, we can kind of see how the weekly, uh, how the week ended. I always like seeing that just to try to give us some indication of where we might open. Uh, so we had that big uptick and then we kind of sold, sold off to close the week. So uh, we'll kind of see how we open, but keep that, um, you know, last week close in mind. And volume also was uh, kind of choppy to close the week, but you know, um, what we're really looking at here is the moving averages, these crossovers, that's what we like to see. So flipping over the two hour, we've seen a nice little channel formation starting to form. I would like to see this to go up, you know, to the 56 mark. I don't really feel comfortable just because, you know, stocks might open pretty low tomorrow. So we're kind of going to see uh, where everything's going to shake up. But this is NTRA. I'm kind of guessing this is going to be about a three week hold, um, you know, depending on what sort of market conditions happen um, but to be very you know realistic with everybody just because we're starting to see all these this first leg of kind of rally occur in this bear market we can definitely have a sharp pullback and these pullbacks happen very quickly so with that said I would keep this stop loss actually trailing versus leaving it here at you know 49.50 keep it a trailing stop loss meaning um, you know say the it, say it pushes up, you know, another two percentage points, push that stop loss up as well. So kind of have it trailing your your uh, your play here. So uh, this is one that will hopefully be entering in, you know, midpoint next week um, or the coming week, this coming week, I, I should say, excuse me. Um, and we can kind of take it from there. Now, our last free pick, again, we put up two every single week um, just for our free newsletter subscribers. And then we have the remaining premium picks inside our discord so do sign up for that you're going to get all of our you know weekly entrances and um you know these these uh picks excuse me change really really rapidly so it's important that we you know talk through it day in and day out and really get a good understanding of where we currently are so that's kind of the uh you know hypothesis on i guess hypothesis is not the right word but um, you know, rationale, I should say, for joining the premium, um, as well as you get, you know, a lot more picks. So uh, that's always good. Anyways, um, flipping over to MRVL, that's Marvel Technologies, um, kind of similar. Now, we did see a little bit of a sharper decrease, and we really bottomed out here in July. Um, and it's been on a bit of a tear. We're just starting to see these moving averages kind of start to turn around. So the idea here is that we're catching these earlier than some of our previous rallies and one big thing is um, you know, kind of when you're looking at these rallies and these mean reversion plays you don't want to have a have to have the stock go to an all-time high in order to just make money so if you look at something like an Apple or you know some of these high flyers you're gonna see that where they currently are the latest rally if we're going to make 8-10%, it's really going to push them to all-time highs. So they've had a strong rebound. We want to try to find stocks, in this case Marvel, that are still kind of in the early stages of this turnaround. So that's why we identified this one. Um, I would say for this, let's look at the short term. Um, yeah, a bit of a sell-off, just kind of with the rest of the market on Friday. Um, but, you know, really held strong. No capitulation or anything. Again, pretty strong volume, so we're going to try to get in this one probably early next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. So let's continue to watch this and see how we play. Thanks a lot. So thanks so much, guys. I appreciate everyone's, um, you know, watching these videos. Uh, it's definitely good for me, and I appreciate the patience that you guys have. Uh, please do sign up for our premium Discord. I have a lots of discounts available, so if you guys do have any issues with the price, certainly let me know, and we can get it all sorted out. Um, in terms of pricing, this is what you're looking at: lifetime about 220, 
monthly pricing 80 newsletter free so of course our lifetime is our best option um, and again we do have um, 50 percent off discounts um, and we can even bump that up if you guys are really having some issues so just let me know and we can take it from there thanks guys and see you next week